my day to day. It was so crazy. They like had me. They like had me upside down with welders, and uh, I got struck by lightning seven times, and it was just crazy. You better be careful. Yeah, bloody Jesus didn't strike me down. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, I did get you some new. Like, don't touch my hair. But you need to get a haircut. Something wrong with my hair? No, you need to get a haircut. Mm -hmm. It's been pretty long. And some new jeans. I got you some new jeans. Jesus saves, bro. You got me some new jeans. Mm -hmm. So you don't always wear one with patches in. There's so many kids over in like Guangwe who just don't have any clothes. <laughs> They still don't have any clothes. I was on a mission trip there one time and I saw this kid and he had two cockroaches and he was sewing them together and making this contraption of clothes and we should just send him those jeans. I think you told me this before. It's true I've and I've heard this story before. Yeah, it's true and they're over there and they make cups out of snakes and that's over in Uganda and I'm gonna go there one day. I'm gonna go back to Uganda. It's gonna Maybe be awesome. just work close to home. Because one day we're going to want a family, and you're not going to leave your kids, and and I think it's just better. I think I think you should think about it. I think you should come with me. Um, yes, you should come with me. Yes. No, you should come with me, and I'll weld, and we'll have we'll adopt little you grander babies, and we'll just have Filipino them. babies, Filipino babies. My dad wants Filipino babies. That's fine. What? Filipino. Uh, Ugandians, we'll have a couple Nigerians, and maybe a couple Ethiopians. <laughs> Look at this show. We need to go get pizza and stuff pretty soon, babe. It's getting kind of late. And get a movie. Babe! Okay. Babe! I was talking to you. You weren't listening, were you? Yeah. No, you weren't. You know what? I'm just in a bad mood. I just hit a wall. I'm just in a bad mood. I don't know why I'm in a bad mood. I'm just in a bad mood. No, don't point and show me stuff. You better just, you better just go. You better just go, and you drop me off at the door. You want to go to? Don't Uganda? mess with me right now. You want to go to Uganda? Huh? No. Yeah. Hey, Brian. So a year ago today, I asked you to be my boyfriend, and. That was honestly the best decision I've ever made in my life. And I wouldn't change one thing about you or one thing about this past year together. And I'm just so thankful for all the people that you've brought into my life now. And I am thankful that I get to fall in love with you more and more every day. And I just think the absolute world of you. And I love you way more than Dr. Pepper and pizza rolls. And I'm just looking forward to way more anniversaries together and to see what God will do in our future. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this video and happy anniversary. Okay, Brian. Um, first of all, I want to tell you, you are a really lucky guy to have Tori. Really lucky. Um, she's putting this together for you, so that must mean you're a really special guy. And I think you're a special guy because you're my oldest son. Um, I have a lot of memories of you. Um, I'm going to share just a few of them and I'll try to make it brief. Um, one of the ones I do remember is whenever I was baking some rolls in the oven and you turned the switch to where it locked my oven and tried to clean it. And I said, oh my gosh, we're going to have a fire and the rolls are going to burn. And you thought, you were little, you were about probably five, and you thought, oh, a fire. I need to call the fire department. So you ran into the bedroom and dialed 911. And <laughs> you were talking with them, and Aunt Vicki came over and she said, Sandy, Brian's on the phone talking to somebody. So I went and talked to the lady at the 911 station. She wanted to double check to make sure we did not have a fire. <laughs> Thank goodness they did not send out fire trucks. She canceled that. And um, so that was something that really stands out in my mind. Um, one of the other things, Brian, is you always were very good. You were very, very creative. You liked to dress up and pretend. And I want you to explain to Tori a little bit about your pirate costume. That might be a story you might want to share with her someday. Um, he had this pirate costume. He loved it. He probably got it when he was five or six, and he wore it up until he was 12. And <laughs> he was the pirate. Um, Brian was always, like I said, creative. In high school, one of his teachers 
I had a poster on her podium that said think big and after a few assignments from Brian she finally took the poster down and she said I don't think you need to think like that anymore Mr. Burt so she got rid of the think big poster and those are just a couple of stories we have a lot more and hopefully over the years we can share them with Tori and um, have a lot of enjoyment Brian I, I'm like grandma and like your dad I wish you the best of luck um, I think you've been through some rough times and I hope that your future is filled with a lot of fun and blessings from God and I do know that Tori is one of those blessings from God I love you babe bye Brian this is your father uh, I wanted to say um, happy one year anniversary to you and Tori and uh, she wanted some highlights of uh, something I remember of you back in the past and uh, something that always stuck out, stuck out in my mind was uh, when you was a little boy around the pool table at the other place we used to live at you used to have your little turtle uh, ninja turtle chair and uh, you'd Whenever I get done shooting all the balls in the pockets, you drag your chair over to the pocket. You get the balls out of the pocket, and throw them, and roll them to me, so I could uh, get them in my little uh, rack to get them racked up again. And then I'd make you before you'd roll the balls to me. You'd I'd say, okay, Brian, before you roll those balls to me, what color is that ball? Is it orange? Is it red? Is it green? Is it yellow? Blue, what is it? You tell me. And then later on, I'd say, okay, what number's on it? I want to know the number and the color. And you automatically, you knew when you when scooted your chair to that pocket, you got up on your, your chair and reached in and got the balls. And you, before you rolled them to me, you'd say the color and the number. And that's how I got you started with your numbers and colors. And you got real good at it. And then, and then later on, I made you up a sheet, one to a hundred, and uh, I'd point, I'd always sit to, in the chair with you, and this is when you was three years old, this whole time, you was three years old, and I'd point to a number, whether it was one or a hundred, or anything in between, and you'd, you'd give me the number, and uh, I was always quite proud of that, and then later on in life, you got really good with your numbers school so maybe dad had something influence with helping you out so that's just something I always remember and then of course of course and the teachers found this out through high school was your uh, uh, your ability to be uh, um, creative I was trying to think of it very creative so, anyway, uh, that's about all I remember now. And then you're 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 driving with your uh, not your hands in the car, your knees. I never was too fond of that. <laughs> so anyway, some bad habits there. But um, you just always stay focused, and and I and I hope you and Tori always uh, have a fun field uh, time together. And. Uh, always uh, have a good time together enjoy each other hey Brian it's your coolest little brother ever you know Tori told me to do this video for you and she said I could think of something that was probably our most favorite moments together and the one that truly comes up is the time we go fishing and I know you know this one but it's the funniest one ever we get packed go to the boat got all of our food rods Got our paddles, we got everything. Get into the boat, push off, we get to the other side of the pond, creeping around, make sure no fish hear us. And you ask for the rod. And dead silent. I just remember you started laughing, and just couldn't control yourself. We about flipped the boat because we were laughing so hard, knowing that we forgot the rods on the side of the riverbank. We paddled all the way out there and forgot the rods. That's probably our most memorable fishing trip ever. You know, I love you so much, you know. I go 2 o'clock in the morning to go to Walmart and go to McDonald's for you. And drink some Farm Fresh. I love you, Brian.
right. Hi, Brian. Tori's doing this video for you. It's super sweet. Um, a memory mean you have would be there's a lot, as you know. One would be whenever we would go spy on neighbors. We thought we were detectives and thought they were up to something. And we'd walk and hide and have walkie-talkies and camouflage and I <laughs> didn't stop. And um, another time was we'd tie ourselves to the, the railing downstairs with belts and pretend that we were weathermen reporting the news. Um, the other ones. Oh, the yogurt story. You know that one well. Um, Dad, we had to buy Trix yogurt from the store because it looked so cool on TV. And anyways, we tried it when we got home and it's absolutely disgusting. And then Dad finally made us get it out and eat it as we were throwing up. <laughs> we still had to eat it. And then I was starting to finish mine. I went to the bathroom and <laughs> and you switched our cups because mine was more further down than yours. When I got back, I had to eat all the yogurt. So um, there's plenty of other stories of us. Um, I really hope, wish you and Tori the best of luck. She's a really good person and she's special. So I love you. What's up, Brian? Uh, I'm glad you became a welder. That's pretty cool. You're like my brother now. Uh, good luck to you, dude. See ya. Hi, Brian. I made this this for you. And what is it, Erica? Um, it is a little shelter I made, but I'm quite not done for it. And it's this for you. Is it going to be a house for Brian to live in? Yes. <laughs> so, Brian, you get to live in the sandbox? Yes. <laughs> Do you love Brian? Yes. Do you? Do you think? I wish he was here so I can give him a kiss. Oh, boy. Good one? I think he would like that. And it's going to be really good house. I hope you're really excited about it. <laughs> okay, that's done. Choo -choo. Choo -choo. Okay, Brian. You know you're one of my favorite children. And as soon as I think of you, I think of two things you told me in our lives, and you will know exactly what I mean. Remember at your dining room table, Grandma, what did you did to your hair? And the other one, when it comes time to rewind, you don't have to. Do you remember that, Brian? Okay, sweetie pie. You be a good boy. I love you dearly, and you know I love you dearly. I wish the God's greatest blessings on you forever. I just want you to have a perfect life. Hello, Brian and Tori. We just wanted to wish you a happy one, One year, year anniversary. anniversary. <laughs> We're extremely proud of the two of people that you've become together. We like to watch you guys together. Remember the first time Brian walked in the door for their first I remember, date? Yeah, he didn't have flip flops on. <laughs> no sandals. <I> two pluses. <laughs> two pluses. So I remember how nervous he was. Yeah. And but we just are so thankful for the way uh, for the how you've become part of our life and we're just so excited to see you and Tori together and how uh, it's made better people out of both of you. Uh, you guys are good for each other and uh, we just love that you're part of our family and that you love to be part of our family. We love that very much. That's something we've always dreamed and prayed about. Yes it is. So we're so excited to see what God has in store for the two of you as a couple and uh, we just we love you both very much. Happy anniversary! Happy at the same time. Happy, happy anniversary. anniversary! Hey Brian, I just wanted to say happy anniversary to you and to Tori. And I was told to keep this short, so all I want else I want to say is go go Power Rangers! Hey Brian, it's Libby. I'm a rock star. Yeah, I know. Um, keep it 
sister happy. Okay, you got that? You got that? Um, and if you don't, I will find you and I will kill you with my bow and arrow. So keep her happy. Got it? Happy anniversary, Tori and Brian. You are super cool people. And, and we, we love you very love much. You. I think that Tori has a wonderful, wonderful friend. And I am so happy that she's happy and that they are both such good people. They're sweet and loving, and I love them all. Brian, it's a great pleasure to be able to call you a brother in Christ. You are one of the fellows that I believe really understands what it means that eternity is all that's going to matter. And I know that you'll continue to invest in things that last forever. And don't be a stranger. Hey, Brian. Just wanted to say I love you, bro. And I hear your girl's making this video for you. I'm rocking my Quadalapum shirt, you know. Man, I miss you. I love you, bro. I know we have been in touch. We have our lives, I know. I just want to say God bless, man, and keep on keeping on, man. Life's a garden, dig it. That's Joe Dirt. I know, I'm cheesy. I love you, man. I miss you. You're doing great, man. I'm living in Conway now. I've moved. I had to get it out of the town that was bringing me down, and you're rocking it, man. I'm so proud of you. You're doing great, man. Keep it up. Living for the Lord, I can see it all over you. Great. You do great things. Love you, bro. I'm not really Tori. <laughs> I'm Sierra. And I'm Dylan. And, and uh, happy anniversary. Happy um, anniversary. Happy anniversary. It's awesome that y'all have been hanging out for a year or two or something. A year. This is their one year. One year. It's been good. And you're home now, and that's awesome. Uh, he has sentimental issues. I got this. Okay. So, it's really cool seeing y'all over the last year. I didn't really know Tori, except for the last year. But I did know that she was anti-boy. And the Brian came. And he stole her heart. Bert. Bert. You got her. And he stole her heart. He got you. And since then, he's became more important than Dr. Pepper, pizza rolls. Actually, I think she knows how to cook more than pizza rolls now because of her. What else? Anyway, y'all are cute. We're excited for you. I can't wait to see what God's gonna do in your lives. Yo, when's y'all's anniversary? Also, you better propose soon because I'm getting a pa I mean, Tori's getting patient. When's the anniversary? It's August 30th. Dude, ours is like the day or like the 12th or something. No, it's the 15th. The 15th. We can totally do an anniversary royal thing together, man. You can't do anything alone. We've got social problems. <laughs> It'd just be more fun. But anyway, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> hey, Brian. So it's your one year anniversary. And I know you've heard a lot of stories about Tori um, not being a man's lady. That is a real term. We just looked it up for this video. Um, growing up, she never really had like any boyfriends or was even interested in boys, which I always found kind of weird. I would try and talk to her about guys and she would just be like, eh, you know, whatever. Or I'd be like, oh yeah, he's super cute. And she'd be like, mm, I guess so. It was kind of weird having my best girlfriend not really act that girly. <laughs> but we kind of stayed through it anyway. But when you came along, it was the first time that things in that area kind of started to switch and personally it freaked me out a little bit because I was just not used to Tori being that way but it must mean that you are pretty special and I know that I've known Tori for at least 13 years actually I'm pretty sure it's been longer than that but our official friendship started 13 years ago and she has never been happier and I just think that that must mean that you're pretty cool um, and so you, you're on my good side just because of that. I know I don't know you very personally, um, but I look forward to that changing. So, happy new year. Hey, Bert. Brian. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So it has been amazing to meet you. That makes my terrific Tori happy. And I just think you should keep it that way. Love you and we miss you. Come see us. Brian, hi Tori. Uh, we just wanted to get together here and wish you guys a happy anniversary. Brian, I just want to tell you, I remember when you and Tori first started seeing one another. And you came to work one day and you said, oh, guess what? And I'm like, what? He said, we said the L word. <laughs> I'm so happy for you guys. Uh, one year together. Hey, I've been with Chrissy and it's been amazing too. So I'm very proud of you. We miss you so much. You need to come see us. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Brian. <laughs> Yeah, I heard one year. Hmm. That's a long time for you. Well, I guess it'll be okay. You broke my heart. I'll get over it. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've seen you. You better come over to see us pretty soon. I'll have to find me another boyfriend. All right, love you. Bye. Hey, Brian. Um. Just wanted to say hi. Oh, uh, gosh, what do I say about Brian? I remember when you first came to the nursing home, I think you're the only man who uh, noticed I got new highlights in my hair. That was pretty great. Um, <laughs> it was. Uh, you were always there to talk to and for me to lean on. In uh, this story, uh, we don't really, we don't hang out with her much, but I think she's a pretty good girl. Got your head on straight. I know you guys are going to do good things together. Uh, we love you. Keep your head up and congratulations on the job. Love you. Alright, Brian, hi. Uh, I'm glad that I've had this opportunity to get to know you and uh, I think that you and Tori wishing you a happy anniversary. Not me? Yeah, happy anniversary, Brian. And if you break my niece's heart, your sewing machine will no longer be able to do anything because I will gut you like a fish. No. <laughs> <laughs> so have a happy anniversary. Hi, Brian. Hey, Brian. Happy anniversary. And, you know, we, we know God's got a lot in your life. And, you know, Felicia and I, you're a wonderful guy. And we, we know that, you know, you have many things both you and Tori are going to have together. And, uh, you know, God has put you guys in your life, and we know that you have many things that you're going to have together. And you know, we're we're happy for you. I'm very happy for you. I know Tori. I've known Tori her whole life, and she deserves a guy like you. So, so I want to say that congratulations. And by the way, it's it's because of me. And we all know that it's because of me. <laughs> Just kidding. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Hey, Brian. Have a happy anniversary. <laughs> and you just best be good to Tori or, you know, yeah. It is Bert, a.k.a. Thundercat. Just want to say congratulations. Hope you can find a job. And when you do, when you start welding on that ink canal and become famous, don't forget about me. By the way, don't be shy. Come visit. Hey, Brian. Wow. Already a year, huh? Time flies when you're having fun. Hey, buddy. I'm glad I got to meet you, you know, and uh, it's always nice to see you the only one that's serving the Lord. Just hope that you stay with it, man. Wherever life takes you, whatever it brings you, you know. Always put God first. You put Him first, and everything else will be given to you. He'll take care of you. I'm glad you and, you and Tori are, are happy together, and I hope you have many more anniversaries. I just, uh, Wish you the best in life, buddy, and uh, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, yeah. Hi, Brian. Uh, congratulations on your passing your welding certification, and uh, um, we're uh, we're better for knowing you. Um, your enthusiasm with the Lord and with the Scripture is inspiring for us old fogies, and we do. Uh, we do appreciate your um, steadfastness with that, and uh, um, we're uh, really impressed that um, with you, that Tori has picked you out. She's a pretty good 
young lady and we're um, Oops. Oops. feeling know. like you've really got a prize there. So you take care and, and love each other and uh, may God's blessings be with you always. Amen. See, you're setting off alarms, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Brian, it's been good to know you. Hope we get to know you for a long time. Uh, we've been missing you. Hope to see you again soon. Congratulations on a year. Uh, wait till it's 36. <laughs> and best wishes to you and Tori. Hi, Brian. It's been really, really good knowing you. And hope to get to know you even better in the future. And congratulations on your one year. And congratulations on your graduation and getting through school like you did. And I know that you'll do well. And you've been so on fire for the Lord and it's been such an inspiration to us because it makes us remember just what it's like at the beginning and sometimes later on you lose that fire and it's just so neat to see someone with it and pray that we get it back again and um, we just really have loved to know you get to know you and like I said hope that we see you a lot a lot more in the future and Bill and I have been married 52 years this year wow. Yes, dear. <laughs> so, it does last. Again, we love you, Brian and Tori. And Brian, we'd like to see uh, you come to church every once in a while. We could use one of your hellfire and brimstone sermons and uh, enlighten our souls. And uh, I'm not much of a speaker and had very few words, but uh, you're a person of good, encouraging words, and uh, we praise you for that. You guys stay together and hope everything goes well in the future for you, and get a good job. <laughs> and I know you will. God will bless you, both yes. of you. Stay strong and look to Him. Every time I see your face, my heart takes off on a high-speed chase now. Don't be scared, it's only love, baby, that we're falling in. I can't wait till tomorrow, this feeling has swallowed.
turns it into two and yeah two is so much better than going through life on my own I'm ready for someone baby that someone is you are my only my own everything means nothing unless I've got something They used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? Darling, I will be loving you Baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23 And I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways Maybe just the touch of a hand 
honey now Take me into your loving arms Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars Place your head on my beating heart I'm thinking now When my hair's all but gone and my memory fades And the crowds don't remember my name When my hands don't play the strings the same way mm, I know you will still love me the same Cause honey your soul could never grow Baby, your smile's forever in my mind and memory I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways Maybe it's a part of a plan I'll just keep on making the same Sweetheart, ain't you a sweetie? Please your right, head on my feet and heart. Stop. Let me stop. Thinking out loud. Maybe we found love right where we are. <laughs> so baby now Take me into your loving arms Kiss me under the
And then. And then. And then. And then. So we're gonna throw this here. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> oh. I will not take my love away When praise of season seasons change The whole world turns the other way No, I'll save you I will eat you or bite you. I'm a vampire now. I knew that would work. See, that's how you become a vampire. You just get your vampire boyfriend to come save you. Yeah. They'll bite you right away. Lesson learned. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, 10 years, 10 years later? 50 years later? 50? Oh, 15. 15 years later, I still look just as good. That's right. Oh, I age quite well now that I'm a vampire. Oh. Hi, Ma. Hi, Dad. What are you doing with that pink in your hair, young lady? You wanted the pink in my hair. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. Are you getting old, Thomas, with your old age? <laughs> I didn't mean it. Now I have to go over to the Vulcans and do very important vampire stuff. Edward, we have to go to the house. Go back though. Where's our house at? Over here. Are you getting on Thomas with your old age, old man? Old man? I have to cook fast. I think Edward drank a little bit. He's falling over. Have a seat! I'll save you! I will not take my love away We may have fallen in love with you every single day And I just wanna tell you I am So honey- No! <laughs> take me into your loving arms Me under the light of a thousand stars. Kiss me a hand on my beating heart. I'm thinking out loud. Maybe we found love right where we are. When my hair's all but gone and my memory fades. And the crowds don't remember my name. When my eyes don't play, it stays the same way mm -hmm. I know you will still love me the same Cause honey now, so we can never grow old, oh, it's evergreen Baby, my, you're forever in my mind, my memory I'm thinking about how hard people fall in love in mysterious ways And maybe it's all part of a plan I just keep on making the same mistakes Hoping that you'll understand Woo! Take me into your loving arms Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars Place your hand on my beating arm Now allow Maybe we found love Right where we are Maybe 
we fell off right where we are. We fell off right where we are. See, I love that. Oh, I love When striving leads you far from home And there's no you for what you sown I will not leave you all alone Oh, yeah In fancy or in poverty